Welcome to the sixth episode of March Mad Hot Air Plays Outer Wilds. Today, we'll be going to Giant's Deep. Everything that we've found so far seems to be pointing in that direction. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to find whatever's hidden in the core. I kind of want to inspect this uh, structure that's orbiting Giant's Deep. And also, um, Gabbro, I believe, is on Giant's Deep somewhere. Uh, but before we get to that, I wanted to uh, go around and talk to some of these villagers and see what they think about the fact that I just rescued Feldspar. There's our pilot, ready to get this beauty off the ground. Hey, what can I do for you? Nothing about Feldspar, but the sun is going to go supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observatory has an exhibit about that. Between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornfels' domain. Me, I'm here for the rocket science and the marshmallows. Um, it's going to explode, like, within a few of your days. So, probably not in the time frame that you are imagining. There's our pilot, ready to get this beauty off the ground. Okay, um... You're lucky I'm in a time loop, because otherwise I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, none of these people are aware that time is looping, except for me. You know the ship is, in, is a death trap, right? Well, yeah, it's a death trap, but it's a really powerful death trap. What, you suddenly care about safety now? I cared about safety when my ship exploded an episode or two ago. It does get me from point A to point B, so I suppose uh, I can't complain about that. But I could not tell you about Feldspar, and I couldn't even really mention anything about... Uh, I thought he's going to have anything to say. I couldn't even really mention anything about uh, an imminent demise due to Supernova. Cook, were you close to Feldspar? Uh, I think I only had two options with you anyway, so you don't have anything to say. Blessing off, statistically quite high. Okay. Do none of you care? about the fact that I rescued Feldspar. Al's going to miss me. Uh, all of this as I have said before. Nice try, we know, all know you have it out for that tree. What? No. I th just think it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. Haha, you think this has to do with the time I fell out and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that one? Who, indeed? Marl. A grudge for a tree. But I'm more concerned about the fact that either the sun is going to explode or, you know... Tell me about the other traveler's instruments. Church drums, Rybex banjo, and Gabro's flute. Okay, so when we get to Giant's Deep, we can look for a flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Well, Feldspar is no longer missing. Um, yeah, you don't have anything new to say. So I'm going to go up just real quick, because I don't think you guys have anything to tell me either. Or you. Uh, I want to see if uh, Hornfells has anything new. Or Gossip. Gossip might have something to say about his buddy Feldspar being rescued. No, this is just... Yeah, this is all just the same stuff. I'm ready for the real deal. Okay, yeah. Um, 
I'm this far, I don't have a whole lot of high hopes here, but I do want to check out anything that Cornfills has to say. about either the supernova or feldspar. And these guys are in completely different positions. Hal isn't, but he was outside after the statue opened its eyes. Um, hey, I was just about to come and find you. Look, 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 you've got to see this. The Nomai's eyes, the Nomai statue's eyes are open. They, uh, used to be closed. Probably should have started with that, and now they're opened. We're not sure why they opened, since no one actually saw it happen. Well, I did. But this is huge news. Should someone tell Gabro, or maybe Ryback? Oh, stars, this is so exciting, it's making my stomach hurt. Well, I'll relay the message to those guys. But I was uh, a little bit more concerned about, you know, the exploding sun or the rescued missing uh, pilot. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you, bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? <sighs> Me too. Boy, don't I wish. I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Was there something you needed? I found Feldspar. There we go. You found Feldspar, and they're in Dark Bramble? Stars above, this is wonderful news. Thank you. Thank you for finding them. The Feldspar didn't immediately join you on your ship and return here is incredibly Feldspar of them. We were never entirely sure what Feldspar was thinking back then, either. Still, we ought to fish them out of that dreadful place with all haste. I'll radio Gossin and have them prepare a ship. It really should be Gossin who brings Feldspar home. Again, thank you. You can hardly imagine how profoundly happy I am to hear... They're alive and unharmed. Good to know. Uh, where are the other travelers? Actually, um, this might actually be good to know where I can find everybody else. Chert, it, okay, Chert, I've heard before. He's he's had like some uh, recordings, I think. Is on the Hourglass Twins. Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow, and Gabro is on Giant's Deep. Okay. And, uh, from what Nice was saying earlier, Chert has, uh, I want to say drums, and, uh, Ryback has the banjo, and Gavro has a flute. And there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are or if they're even still alive. Well, I just told you, and you have immediately forgotten. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. Yeah, um... Lost from your mind after, you know, two seconds. Take care. Well, I will I will do that. I'm glad it was at least acknowledged because I was kind of worried that I was... That I just did that whole goose chase that cost me, like, two episodes and three lives for just just learning that, you know, jellyfish taste bad. Okay, let's, uh, let's see where the bread comes lead now, which is to our good friend, the Jolly Green Giant. I don't see it anywhere. It's somewhere in the sky. And lift off. Uh, one of the things that I was kind of wondering was whether or not... Oh, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to hit the moon. Oh, that shadow saved my bacon. Okay. Yeah. That was close. Okay, we're gonna just miss the moon entirely because it is not today's destination. You, Quantum Moon, I have an idea for you. I was thinking about this in between episodes. 
But if we can get you, um, the thing the thing that uh, was bothering me was if so so right now I'm observing the quantum moon, you know, keeping it locked in place because uh, observation is supposed to um, resolve different quantum states, right? So I'm keeping it locked in place by observing it, but when I go into the atmosphere of the quantum moon, I'm still observing the quantum moon, but I stop observing everything else. If anything, I should be moving with the quantum moon to other positions in the solar system. But that is apparently not the way it works. Um, so I had an idea. Uh, probably not going to test it right now because it's in the wrong position. But um, we could go back to Dark Bramble at some point and because uh, I know I've seen this moon around Dark Bramble. We could go back there at some point and try to like dip into the moon. So like face facing the rest of the solar system. And the reason why I'm choosing Dark Bramble for that is because it's the farthest one out. So if I'm sinking into the moon, just dropping into the moon's atmosphere, while also observing all the other positions in the solar system, the moon won't have any other place to go to as I'm sinking into it. That's the plan anyway. But I do, as intriguing as the possibility sounds, instead of doing that, I'm going to go to Giant Steep because I'm constantly distracted by different possibilities and I want to uh, actually accomplish something that I have set my mind on. Because I am curious about what this place is. Is that the structure? Can't tell really. That's definitely the structure here. Okay, before I do anything else, honestly probably should have done this with the quantum moon where I saw it, but I'm, I wanna pull out my uh, scout launcher. I wonder if I can land on this. Oh, uh, it's too fast. I do not trust my piloting skills that much. Alright, I'm just gonna fire my scout launcher in here and see what we're dealing with. Can't really tell. Okay, let's try this again. I feel like I need to cancel my velocity here. Then fired in. And whoa, what is that? Holy moly! Oh, oh! What is. That is a massive. Oh. Well, we're not immediately fried. Oh, there's more of them! I need to find some place to land, some place solid. Let's go. Where can I go? Give me something here. Give me something. Ugh. Holy Moses. Ah, oh, there. This would be good. Ah, uh, more brambles, but I can't friggin' fly <laughs> in this environment. Okay. Uh, sit down. Or something, man. Uh, we got a we got a landing camera. Let's use that. Uh, okay. <sighs> We're down. <sighs> Good heavens. This is... 
I suppose I should not be surprised that uh, what I presumed was a gas giant has a massive storm on it. And several smaller little, like, uh, water cyclones. Or water spouts. <sighs> well, that was certainly uh, a heart racing experience. Let's figure out what is going on here. I do should have checked this when I got on, but uh, instead, let's see what we're dealing with here. This did planet did look like it was pretty much entirely water. So, and, yeah, we definitely have other chunks of the Bramble Planet here with jellyfish within it. So I wonder if, like, the jellyfish and, like, the anglerfish are native to Dark Bramble or if they're native to this planet. I have to imagine there's, uh... Fish here beneath the waves. Oh, what is that? something. Yeah, what is this? It's not just this, that's not just the sky, is it? That looks like it might be further down. I don't see any fish. Or jellyfish, for that matter. Or, you know, wild, uh, Krakens, or anything like that. So that is good news. Let's see what else we're... Uh... That is coming really close. the whole island into space. Oh, that is insane! <sighs> they just completely picked up the whole island, launched it into space. How am I supposed to get anything done there? If I'm... If these islands are just getting constantly launched... Okay, we gotta go back there. We've gotta go back there, because that was... That was crazy. <laughs> okay, back to Giant Steve. Here we go. And it should be just, like, right above me, too. That is it. That is an amazing mechanic. Okay. 
Let's maybe make this a little bit more of a controlled uh, descent, maybe. Let's let's enter the landing camera now before we get to the point where we can't. And then try to land. And who knows if we're even gonna just... Oh, we're gonna hit the structure. Okay. Okay. Oh, this reminds me of a game I played once. Uh, let me just let me just find some place where I can safely land here before we get too far in. Okay, I think that's the place I was before. And there's something too. I wonder how many of these islands are there are that are just getting constantly chucked into the sky. Okay, this is a much, much more pleasant experience. Uh, far less uh, heart-pounding experience here. I've got to actually... i got to figure out how to do any of this before... Uh, before it gets picked up again, because I don't know how to survive, you know, being picked up by a full-blown tornado. Okay, we're going to leave the log alone for now. Just uh, figure out what we can see on this island and just try to move through it real quick. Danger, ghost matter detected. Uh, am I not supposed to go in there? Am I supposed to swim across? Because I still don't know if there's anything beneath the waters or beneath the waves or whatnot. Um, yeah, I wonder if there is another way on or up. Maybe this isn't the best, the best, uh, I don't know if there's some way around Ghost Matter or something like that, but, uh, it's possible this isn't the best island to start on. Let's, let's try a different island. Okay, let's switch to landing camera, because that's definitely much better. Much easier to navigate. I feel like I actually have some kind of idea of where all the, uh... Okay, you're an island. where all the tornadoes are. If I can land on you safely here. Uh, 